Hey guys, welcome back! Nice to have you here. So today is again time for a challenge. After a short break, uh, we are back with our prank challenge and I hope you're happy. Uh, let me know in the comments if, if you prefer to have a bigger time frame and if you prefer to have two months to do the challenge. So first of all, I want to thank all the people that participated in the past challenge and I want to showcase your artworks. The first submission we have is from Smiley Smile. You can see all the process on their Instagram. And he created a computer rocker that is wearing casual outfit. And I really like that he went a little bit overboard with the character design. And I like the idea that he created this abstract shape behind him to give the idea that he's a computer rocker. Next, we have the submission from Ozerer and he created a dualism between the, the person that is very scared and closed in, in, closed in himself and this inner demon that is the real villain in this situation that is very strong and trying to crush the other person. Then we have the submission from Art by Sindanala and she created this villain that he no longer has a nose, so now he can rule the world by dropping stinky bombs. The next one is from Rototom94, and he didn't create an original character, but this is a fan art of the character MF Doom that is actually a hip hop singer, and he usually wears this metallic mask and I really like that he tried to give like a very good expression with his face. Next we have Dodd Onovan or Dodinart and he created this elf character. This it's probably a magician or a sorcerer and I really like the the look in her eyes. She's actually looking at us and she hates us. <laughs> and last but not the least, we have the submission from Anshan Vran and he created a whole story with this illustration because the Penguin Emperor um, basically enslaved the seals and now the penguins are the king of the Antarctic. So yeah, <laughs> I really like it. And also the, we have a dude behind the king emperor that's probably the real villain in this situation. So guys, thank you so much for this submission. You're all awesome and keep up the good work. And I can't wait to see all of your beautiful artwork in the next, for the next theme. All right. Let's start with the intro and let's see what we have to do today! Hey, the challenge rules are simple. You just have to have a prompt and two colors to work with. You can blend the two colors together, make them lighter or darker using white and black. And also, you can use any media you like, it can be digital, it can be traditional, no worries. The only thing that I ask to you to do is to be creative and have fun. After you finalize your artwork, you can post that on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag PranChallenge. You can actually do a response YouTube video or you can also post in Discord through my Twitch channel and you can find there a, a special section that is called Prime Challenge. Anyway, if you are confused, just check in the description because you have all the information there. The thing that I want to tell you is that if you post your artwork before the 1st of August, I'm going to feature you for the next Prime Challenge video, so don't miss the opportunity! Let's start, let's talk about the serious stuff now. The prompt for today is water. And I was inspired by Luca, mostly, the new Pixar movie. And it was very cute and the aesthetic was so nice. And also, why not? It's very hot in England these, these days. So we need to refresh ourselves. <laughs> and right now we are going to pick the color that we are going to use. One fell down. So the first color for today that we are going to pick is this one, is the 
five and it's viridian. Mm, nice. And the second color that we are going to choose for today is 42. That is Aurelin. Ooh, a nice yellow. Hmm. Who knows what I'm going to create? So let's jump into the speed paint and see what we are going to do today. I wasn't very excited about this illustration because it was from a very long time that I wanted to create a submerged world, an aquatic world in watercolor. I feel like you can create a very nice effect by doing that and hopefully I did a good job, <laughs> not sure, but yeah. I don't feel like this is my best work so far, but I had so much fun. Anyway, I wanted to uh, represent me and my husband that we are jumping from up and we are falling into the water and someone is taking a photo of us. Um, I went a little bit crazy with the the fondal of the of the this submarine world, this seaside, and I also wanted to add a ball to make it a little bit more playful. And uh, as always, I did my our avatar that they have hollow eyes, and I'm, I have like so much fun drawing this small illustration with watercolor, honestly. Um, I went a little bit heavy in mixed media this time, not only I use my brush pen to do the inking part because I love to do that, but also I try to use some pencil, watercolor pencil, and uh, I actually also used um, uh, some uh, acrylic I actually also used some acrylic white. And, and then I started uh, testing some colors because I feel like this was the most challenging part because I wanted to go to, to go for a, like a very uh, watery feeling with the watercolors and probably if I had to pick a third color I would have loved to go for a red or a pink because I feel this whole illustration is missing something. But it was so nice to have the bright yellow because I was able to do some details over the fish and our beachwear and uh, the corals that are on the bottom right. Uh, what I actually did was to use wise wisely the white spots, the white um, blank parts that I try to leave in this illustration and the other thing that I tried to do was to create some depth by using more pigmented stuff for the things that are more in foreground so you can have this kind of washout and more uh, dusty thing in the background and as you can see like there is a little bit of depth but uh, yeah I try my best as I said, I wasn't crazy about this color, but I still tried to do a good job, <laughs> not sure. So yeah, um, it wasn't easy to uh, actually create a nice skin tone, but because the water uh, was submerging us, I tried to keep it as green as possible and create some color variation with the yellow, of course. So yeah, uh, I hope you liked the process. This uh, was the whole illustration that I did for this month. And I tried my best with all the challenges. And uh, also like later I'm going to add some white acrylic to convey a little bit more the light from the top. So yeah, uh, enjoy the process guys. And I can, I see you in a bit.
And yeah, this is the final illustration. I did some ink pen later and I took a photo and hopefully it's a little bit nicer with the color because uh, while filming they were a little bit desaturated. So guys, that's it for today. Uh, we did an illustration and I hope you like it. If you want to support me, just leave a like and comment down below. I will very much appreciate that. Also, if you have any suggestion for me, you are free to leave a comment about that. And what else, what else, what else? Yeah, don't forget to submit before the 1st of August and the next time you are going to be featured in my next video. So guys, never forget, be creative and have fun. And until next time, bye bye.